So the NBA season started like three weeks ago. And obviously there's been teams playing really good like the Warriors and Heat. I've also been teams playing really disappointingly like the Bucks and Celtics. But a team that I think has been playing fairly well that I think has gone on notice is the Memphis Grizzlies who at the making of this video set out a 6-4 record and they're currently the 5th seed in the Western Conference. And even though they haven't been like crazy good or anything like that, when you just watch the games this season, they look significantly better than they have in past years. So that has led me to make this video where I'll be giving some reasons as to why I think the Memphis Grizzlies will be the team that surprises everyone this season. Before we get into the video, I ask you to drop a like on this video as it does help my channel grow. Subscribe to my channel if you want to help me reach my goal of 3,000 subscribers. Also, if you want daily NBA content, also drop a comment on this video as i do respond to all of my comments and play that intro but quickly before we get into the video i gotta show you this really quickly this is the new diversion water bottle it's basically a water bottle where you can put stuff like your keys wallet and other kind of small items like in your water bottle that will make you lose it way less and it will also just help you to not have your pockets full and things like that click the link in my bio if you're interested and into the video the first reason i think the memphis grizzlies are going to be good this year is due to the fact that John Moran so far this season has been flat out playing like a top three point guard in the NBA and in previous seasons if you wanted to have something to complain about Memphis it was the fact that they didn't have a true star player they might not even have one still depending on how you like categorize a star but at least now Ja is a guy who has been playing like a top 20 player in the NBA and I truly believe this is the season where Ja Moran becomes a guy known as a top 5 or so point guard in the league because in previous years you could argue he wasn't even a top 10 point guard but now he's legitimately playing at such a high level that we might have to start putting him in the conversation with point guards like Trey Young, Chris Paul, and Kyrie. Irving who are all point guards who have shown they can lead you to deep playoff runs. They're not superstars or anything like Steph Curry but at least they could be the best player on a really good playoff team and in previous years John Morant was simply not at that level but so far this season he's been putting up 26 points, 5 rebounds and 7 assists shooting 48% from the field and a surprisingly decent 34% from 3. It would be kind of naive for me to assume John Morant will still play at this level because it's only been like 10 or less games but you can't just ignore it because it's clear he's made some significant improvements to his game and in my opinion by the end of the season i think he's gonna be a guy who averages somewhere around 22 to 24 points per game along with like seven assists along with like shooting 46 percent from the field and hopefully close to 35 percent from three which is definitely a way better player than he's been in the past the Grizzlies having their best player just be way more improved and being a way better player is obviously just going to make them a more scary and better team than they were in previous years. John Morant's improvement is honestly the biggest reason I think this team is going to be way better than they have in the previous years. And I think John's going to be an all-star this season and maybe even a dark horse MVP candidate depending on how good their record is. The second reason I think the Memphis Grizzlies are primed for a breakout season is due to the fact that many other players besides John Morant have made drastic improvements in their games. And there's been a lot of players who I didn't really think would improve as much of they as they have like so far. A guy like Desmond Bain has really started the season off very strong. He's definitely one of the players in contention for the most improved player award underratedly. He's also a very underrated player, probably the most underrated player on this roster. Seems like no one really knows about him, even though he's a solid starter and a really good three-point shooter and a really solid defender. He's been average of 15 points. He's kind of struggling from three, but I expect that to go up since last season. He was a 40% three-point shooter, but to be honest, I don't really see him as a future star or anything like that but i do view him as a guy who could be a solid starter on this team and just a very quality role player because before last season he was like an average role player but now i really think he could be a really good one 
There's also DeAnthony Melton, who was before a guy who couldn't even really get consistent minutes, but now he's just a very good and solid role player, and he's also very good on defense, especially on the perimeter. He's also a really good three-point shooter, as he's been shooting 36% from three so far this season. To be honest, he's a really good role player. He can shoot, defend. He's another guy who I don't really think is going to be a star or anything even close to that, but I think he could be one of the better role players in the league, whereas last season, he was a guy who didn't really deserve consistent minutes. I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting a bigger jump out of Jaron Jackson Jr., but he's been struggling as he's shooting less than 40% from the field this season and averaging less than 15 points. He's been really inconsistent and a bit disappointing to start his career, but I'm not ready to give up on him just yet, but I just want to point out he's been a little bit underperforming this season. The third reason I think the Memphis Grizzlies are going to be a breakout team this season is due to the fact that they added Steven Adams to their roster. And I'm not going to lie, when most people like saw the like Valanciunas for Steven Adams trade, a lot of people were thinking the Grizzlies were very stupid and lost this trade horribly and a lot of people thought the Pelicans won this trade. But to be honest, even though Valanciunas is a way, and I mean way better offensive player, like way better. The fact of the matter is to like get a guy like Valanciunas to score, yeah, he's gonna like demand a lot of post ups a game, and that kind of slows down the team at time. Now with Valanciunas replaced by Adams, Adams is a center who will never ever need to post up, meaning the players on this team could just be free to do whatever they want in a sense without really looking like to force feed someone in the post. So I feel like Jonas being gone will help, like has helped a lot of Grizzlies perimeter players. I think that's why we've seen so much of them playing better. And on the defensive side of the floor, Steven Adams is just simply a way better defender. He's smarter, he's better at helping, he's better on the perimeter, he's literally better at everything on defense not saying he's like an elite defender or anything like that but at least he's better and i know that the grizzlies have been terrible on the defensive side of the floor i'm not a casual but it's only been like 10 games of the season the advanced metrics are always out of sorts so i'm not going to overreact to that but i think the grizzlies will be better this season with steve Bonato. the fourth reason i think the grizzlies will be the breakout team this season is due to the fact that a lot of their other teams in the western conference are simply underperforming right now a lot of teams that i thought would be at like the same level as the grizzlies are just doing flat out bad right now obviously you don't want to overreact too fast but it's definitely not a good sign if a team is struggling to start the season teams like the kings blazers and timberwolves are doing absolutely horrible right now the blazers were a team that i thought would be somewhere around like the six to eight seed in no conference and them playing this terrible when they like have played so much weak teams is honestly very disappointing and honestly i don't even know if they're gonna make the playoffs this year to predict if i like to, if i had to predict i don't think they're gonna make the playoffs i'm not gonna lie the timberwolves were my original pick for a breakout team this season since they have so much guys who could do good on offense like currently towns anthony edwards the angel russell malik beasley and i thought they had enough defenders to just be good enough but so far they've just been absolutely horrible i didn't think they would be better than the grizzlies but at least i thought they would be like in contention for a playing spot but it's not even like looking like that right now but to be honest i think there's a chance they could bounce back but i don't think they'll be better than the grizzlies and when it comes to the sacramento kings they were a team that i thought could potentially like recuperate of what they did in the 2019 season where they were at the ninth seed and just a very fun exciting team and they were really close to making the playoffs for the first time in like almost two decades but so far they haven't really been that good either so those teams are just struggling right now and with them struggling it definitely increases the chance that the grizzlies are a breakout team and get a higher seeding to conclude the video though if you're wondering why i'm saying the grizzlies are going to be a breakout team even though they're like one game above 500 right now it's because when you actually look at the teams they have to face they've been facing a lot of really really good teams they also been without dylan brooks so far this season who's like their second best player and their second best player this season has been desmond bain who although is a very good real like really good player he's improved he's still not a guy who's like ideal to be your second best player and although he's doing well like he's just not that guy and when, when it comes to jaren jackson jr he's gonna be like more improved i doubt he's gonna shoot under 40 percent and average this little amount of points i also think when dylan brooks comes back he's gonna play strong so honestly i expect them to get better as the season goes on because they're not gonna like be facing all these hard teams they've had one of the hardest schedules in the nba so far and they've had a few 
very impressive games against the Warriors, where they gave the Warriors their only loss to this day. And versus the Lakers, they nearly beat a fully healthy Lakers squad, and they also nearly beat a they beat a fully healthy like um, Nugget squad, like besides Jamal Murray. So the Grizzlies are definitely my team for a breakout season. Anyways, guys. That's it for the video. Let me know whether or not you think the Grizzlies are going to break out this season. Drop a like on this video to help my channel grow. Subscribe to my channel if you want daily NBA content. Also, if you want to unleash my role of 3,000 subscribers. Also, drop a comment on this video as I do respond to all of my comments. And I'm out.